I'm very excited to welcome Jeff Reed, Vice President of GKE and Anthos at Google Cloud. Welcome, Jeff. Hey, Prashant. It's so great to be here. All right. Jeff, let's, let's start off with some of the big trends as you as a cloud provider are seeing in this space, and particularly how Google Cloud and your team is helping customers make that transition. Yeah, sure. So a few threat trends, and I think these are ones that probably most people will be uh, familiar with. So one is, like, hybrid's really important. Uh, we recently did a study, you know, 78% of respondents said that hybrid is either a must-have or a very strong factor in terms of their decisions around cloud. So as much, you know, I'm, I'm all with you and everything you said in the trends in the opening is correct. But you know, I think customers are still working through how do I take you know years of development and applications, et cetera, they have on prem, bring it to the cloud. How do we do that effectively, et cetera? So that that's one that we see uh, you know continued over and over, and basically every customer I talk to. That's great, Jeff. And you know, Cisco and Google have had some long-standing strategic relationships, right? So. From your perspective, what do you think are some of the benefits of our joint customers get because of our partnership? Yeah, so one of the great things about what Cisco and Google can do together is come back to that conversation on hybrid. You know, Cisco has been a leader in networking for decades, not a leader, the leader in networking for decades. And what I see Cisco doing and working with Google is really how do we enable that hybrid model you know, there's decades of data and applications, et cetera, in customers' environments. And, you know, Cisco's really driving great options around connectivity. And so you see, the, like an example is the work that Cisco SD-WAN team has done with the Google Network team in the, in the Network Intelligence Center at Google to try to make it really simple for you to get connectivity to the right resources securely both on-prem, cloud to cloud, et cetera. Like Cisco's really enabled that. And so it, again, it allows those customers that are looking to make this transition, but may not be making it all in one fell swoop and, and, and really take advantage of all the assets they have on-prem. And similar thing in terms of what you see Cisco doing around areas like, uh, you know, Hyperflex and working with the, actually this, the Google Anthos team running Anthos on Hyperflex. Really, it's all about, I think Cisco's done this great job about ensuring there's flexibility and choice from the customers and knowing that like the network has never been more important than it is now because you know all the applications, the data are increasingly going to be spread out across the environment. That's really interesting, Jeff. And we've had this conversations with our customers, right? So when it comes to this deployment model, what do you think is that balance between when customers should go and choose a cloud specific development versus a cloud agnostic cloud neutral architecture yeah i think there's this this tension right and i think what like both google and cisco are trying to do is how do we release you know reduce that tension as much as possible so you can go to a more agnostic model but not end up with a least common denominator problem of I can't use all this great and interesting technology because I need to be agnostic across. And, and I think both companies, you look at the, the way that each is really kind of over, over the, its history has embraced standards, has embraced open source. I mean, so much of, you know, Cisco kind of set the standards around networking and Google's, if you look at a lot of the cloud technologies, it started as open source a lot from Google. And so we both embrace this idea of, can you get this model whereby you can use things like that so that you can get a great outcome, but still have a degree of kind of agnosticness, if that's a word, you know, to, to your decision-making. That's great, Jeff. Hey, thank you for sharing those insights and thanks again for your partnership. Oh, my pleasure. And uh, thanks so much for having me.